Hey Rockhead fam, I know it's been a while since I brought you any new content, but to be honest with you, New York is just frozen over. I mean, 200 miles in every direction, just frozen. You can't do anything here. So, I've been sort of at a standstill, but I did miss you guys. So I came up with this series, Rock Hounding Talk, right? And in it, we're going to talk about our favorite subject. But first and foremost, I want to do something. I want to send a special shout out to my buddy, Jared, over at the YouTube channel, currently Rock Hounding, for sending me the blueprint to make this fantastic rock scoop. You can go check it out for yourself. He left instructions and basically the blueprints on how to make it. And let me tell you, it's, it's fantastic. Check this out. It even extends. The thing extends, man, and he shows you piece by piece how to put it together, how to make it. He's a great guy. And to show you how great this guy is, what kind of person he is, he could patent these and make a fortune over them. But he even says it in the video, he says, the blueprint is yours for free. You can make them, make them for your family. And the only thing I ask is that you just give me credit. Now, someone like me, knowing that this is definitely in need and not that $55 one that they sell out there hey, you can make this thing for cheap for, for under $25 someone like me would patent this and make a fortune on this but he chose not to he chose to give it to us for free so Jared thanks a lot here is my uh, scoop not 100%, I tried to go by the instructions uh, word for word, and I'd say it came out pretty nice. There's a few things that I'm a little off with, but I like it. It came out pretty good. It'll get the job done this summer, man, when I go out there and I hit those uh, beaches and whatnot. So I wanted to say thanks to Jared at Currently Rock Hounding. You can find his, uh, his, uh, page on YouTube and I'm going to leave a description uh leave it in the description his page and the video it'll all you can find it all in the description under this video all right thanks Jared now back to us what I was talking about was yeah this little series I came up with, Rock Hound and Talk, because there's one thing that I found out about rock hounds. Rock hounds like to talk about rocks and minerals. Even if it's a quiet person, you want to get them talking, start talking about rocks and minerals, and you'll get a whole conversation. I remember watching uh, Jerry Seinfeld one time, and he was talking about comedians search out comedians. They look for comedians. It could be a room full of people but you're looking for the comedian. Rock hounds are kind of the same way. You could be a room full of people, but you're looking for the rock hounds. Now, they may not be as easy to find, but once you do find them, and you find out that they have a, the smallest knowledge of rocks or minerals or something, and that can start a whole conversation. You get comfortable right away. You see this glow come over their face when they're talking about, well, anything. Uh, occurrences, localities, places they've gone to, what they've collected, what they have in their collection. They like to talk rocks and minerals. So I thought that we could talk rocks and minerals. This is gonna be a, a five part series. I'm gonna break it down to five parts, basically five things about rock pounding, five great things about rock pounding that we could talk about. 
And I thought the first thing that we could start with better than anything that I like anyway about rock hounding is research. Doing the research. I love doing the research. Always had. When I first started rock hounding, I love research. And I'm a hard copy kind of guy. I love books. Feeling the books in my hand, feeling the pages turn. So first thing I did when I started rock hounding was go out and find a whole bunch of books on rock hounding. Right? Read up everything that I could. And then there's a the computer. Right? Can't leave the computer out in this day and age. The computer makes it that much easier. But I'm, I'm a book kind of guy, so I like to read up, highlight little notes and whatnot, you know, highlight words and things like that, man, and, and, and remember what they mean, and you know, I'm that kind of guy, but you may not be that kind of person. You may like um, just to go to the computer, which is fine. The computer has tons of information about rocks and minerals. You got sites out there like Mendat, Vogue.com, Mineral.net, and so many, many, many more to get your research in. And as far as books, how many books are there? I've got tons of books, and all of them I consider great books. For you, you can grab these up and have a good read if you're into rocks and minerals. And one thing is very important to have is this book. I love this book. The National Audubon Society of Rocks and Minerals. I mean, this is a must have as far as I'm concerned. This book is so important and you can take this out into the field because it is kind of a field guide. And it has uh, pictures of, of different color uh, rocks and minerals and uh, break down right to uh, where, where they should be found and what they're made of and everything. They get really deep and in depth about uh, whatever mineral it is that you're talking about. Then they have a section that goes into uh, rocks, sedimentary, igneous, metamorphic, and it just goes into that, uh, a little section about that and has pictures of those rocks. And it's really a great book for any rock hounder. Any rock hounder. Well, I'm gonna show you what came in handy for me. Now this is me. You can do the same thing for your area. I had to get a book on my area because I said, what I want to do is find out everything about New York there is to find out. What its geological breakdown is, what it's made of, what the different sections of New York is made of, what minerals are found here. You know, what minerals are prevalent here in New York where I am. I want to find out the rocks and minerals here, what we have, what we don't have. You know, I became really entrenched in New York. I wanted to know what's going on in New York. Now, for your area, where you live in Montana, Mexico, Colorado, California, wherever, Oregon, Washington, that's your state. You want to know what's going on there because more than likely that's where you're going to be doing your rock pounding at right so you become familiar with the rocks that are there in your general area and i think that's everybody uh every rock pounder i talk to mostly they know what's in their area what rock is in their area even if it's not a, a collector's item you know but they know what rock i mean because you come in contact with it every time you go rock hounding. You most likely gonna see this rock. Even if you pass it over and throw it back, but you know what it is, and you know that it's in your area. So, 
That's what I did with this New York book, right? But it's still all part of research. Research, research, research. I advise it for everyone. Do your research. You'll be a better rock hounder. If you do your re research, uh, you know what you're looking at. Uh, you'll know what areas most likely where it's gonna be found at. And uh, you just know more about the thing that you love, which is rock hounding, right? So, that's one of the great things I think about rock hounding, research, right? I mean, because it's basically, you can do it anytime you want to, anytime you get ready. Now for me, it was curling up with a good book, right? And just getting into it and read for hours, right? I love learning and I love finding out about it. And I'm very passionate about rocks and minerals. So I like to find out about them. You know, where I can find them at. You know, different areas of your state that have different things. In the comments, uh, tell me about what you like to do as far as research. You know, uh, how do you research? You know, I'm sure I left off some websites that uh, many of you go to, many of you know. Uh, put them in the comments, you know. Uh, let's see. It's all part of research. It's all part of rock hound. You know. Well, I think that's all I have to say about that. Great talk. And this series, this is just the first part of this series. We're gonna have other parts of this series and uh, we're gonna talk more about rock hound. This has been episode one of Rock Hound Talk. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that uh, you be with me during the next episode and we get to talk again. Till then, Peace. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and join the family.